great um, dessert that I make on a regular basis and it's so freaking delicious. It's actually banana cream uh, pudding and I do not make it with actual bananas. Um, I make it really super easy. I try not to actually use bananas. But I, it is still proven that it's super delicious and super yummy because it gets devoured within a couple of days after I make it with my family and it usually gets devoured at any event that I take it to where there's like friends and stuff. So any kind of party it usually gets devoured. So it's still very yummy even though I don't actually use bananas. Um, let me show you what I do use. Alright, I use this banana pudding. It's just the store brand, Kroger store brand. And I follow the directions, which I'm trying to get to come in clear. Come on, there we go. Which require milk. So I have the two cups of milk here. You're going to need one big tub or, one, or two little tubs of whipped topping. Although I've made it with one little tub before in the past. So if you don't want to have too much of this, you can go down to one. You're going to need one box of vanilla wafers. Although I think sometimes I should get two because every time I make this, my son wants some of these on their own as well. So <laughs> I might have to start buying two of these <laughs> just so that way he can get some. Because I usually use the whole box for this dessert. And then you are going to need two things of cream cheese. Once again, this is the Kroger brand. You can tell where I shop for groceries most of, oh, m most of the time. I can talk. Um, and I already had these out and warming up so that way they are nice and pliable. Which you are definitely going to want. <laughs> because that makes it easier to blend with your pudding. Um... And once again, I have only used one of these um, in this recipe. So if you do not want to use two, you can get away with one. Um, <clears throat> this is completely up to you type of deal. This is just what I like and prefer and what I found other people prefer. So this is pretty much what you're going to use right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the pudding. Because that's like the first step that I always do. So I'm going to do that really quick. I used a, I usually just whip it with a, um, I think that's just called a whip. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, it's just a, a whip. I swear. I can't even think sometimes. You're supposed to whisk this for two minutes per package instructions. That is what I usually do. Since you can do it, says a slow speed with a beater, I usually just do a hand whip because it's just easier. Then pulling out my beater, which goes way too sinking fast. I love my beater because it's awesome. Like, I don't have to take it over one, uh, the, like the first speed, the number one on it be, ever because it's so freaking strong. Alright, I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back when it's done.
All right, so I realized my bowl is not big enough. I don't normally do it in this one, but I thought it would work, and it didn't. So I'm just gonna put everything into this bigger bowl. All right, I am adding a little bit more milk just to help smooth it out. Now I'm gonna keep going. of holly fa la 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 tis the season to be jolly all right i am done so far i'm just gonna go ahead and um i, I never end up without chunks but i kind of like it that way um if you don't like it this way you can probably go ahead and get two pudding mixes and it'll probably it might be smoother but this is how I like it I prefer it my family seems to really like it and so does everybody else I like those kind of like small chunks of cream cheese it's just my preference but there's always exceptions to a rule and you can always change a recipe like this um, but yeah so from here on out you start you get your bowl and you start layering all right I like to use this bowl. It's my preferred bowl, mainly because it comes with a lid. It's not super clear, it's a little clear, which um, is all right. I, I'm not one of those fancy people, <laughs> but you can get one of those really nice clear bowls that you can see every layer with, but I do not do that. Um, I usually just, Start with my vanilla wafers. I like, I don't know. When it comes to pie, you gotta have a crust. And I kind of feel like you need to have a bottom to this. So I start off with a layer of vanilla wafers. Now, normally my kid helps me with this. This is like his favorite part, putting the cookies in. And I don't mind because it helps when you have two hands of putting cookies in. But, um, I, uh, he's not here. He's at school today. So I'm kind of by myself and have to do it by myself. <laughs> so this is where, I'm going to go ahead and get the stuff from the side. Once again, I'm not a picky person, so I usually just start off with a layer. And I kind of just plop it in there and I try to smooth it out a little bit. And then I get these I did actually forget to take out, so they are still slightly frozen still. So that's all right. Like I said, I've done it before like this. Um, I just kind of like take it and then I start like layering it on there too. I try to get the soft stuff first, but that's just, this is just, if this happens to you, you can still do it. Trust me. <laughs> I try to just smooth out that layer as much as possible. Now, I'm not a perfectionist. Um, if you are, then you do what you do. Um, I just kind of get it as close as I can to looking nice and then I kind of keep going. I kind of think that if you are a perfectionist, this is probably not the um, dessert for you because it kind of is a messy dessert but the other thing that I also like 
So when my son does it, I tend not to care so much about how the cookies are laying because nobody can see these layers. So the cookies can lay any way you want. If they end up upside down on accident, then I tend to leave them because you're, no, you're not going to tell. Nobody's going to be able to tell that it's upside down because it's in the middle of the dessert. So I, keep, I just keep layering. Keep doing my next layer. And then layer after that, and layer after that, and I just keep smoothing. And keep it going. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So the top layer, I do try to actually have the cookies upright. That one totally fell on me, but you go with it. It's not a perfect dish. It's for my family's dessert, so I'm not too worried about it. If I was more worried, I'd probably replace it. Like if I was going to a party or something, I probably would replace it. But I'm not going to a party. This is just for my family. So I am perfectly fine with that cookie being that way. I do still, even at the top layer, if I have broken cookies, I will put them on, even on my top layer. Because... That's just how I roll. Like I said, this is, if once it's in your house and you're making it, it's not your dish, so you do what you want. This is just my way of doing things. And I've used all of it. So this is pretty much how it looks when it's done. Um, you can pretty it up, of course, any way that you want. But what I normally do after this is I put the lid on it. And then I put it in my fridge for a couple hours to set up. 
Um, I have actually eaten it right afterwards before, so it's not totally a requirement, but it does taste better and hold up better. It's like a little firmer if you go ahead and put, uh, put it in the fridge first for a little bit. Um, so I hope this was something that you could totally use later on. Um, like I said, you make your desserts for your family and friends the way that you think that they will like it. Or you can even switch it up like I have done in the past. Um, I do not put, as you can see, as you saw, I don't put bananas in mine. Some people do if you want to put bananas in yours because you feel like it has to be. It can't, it can't be right unless it has bananas. Then by all means do that. This is just a quick easy one that doesn't require bananas. So you can make it whenever. You don't have to worry about waiting on bananas to ripen or worrying about bananas going bad before you get to make it. So this is just a way of making it. It still tastes just as good. You still get the banana flavor because of the pudding. It's just super yummy and it's super creamy and it's super good. Um, but yes. So I really hope this was helpful to somebody. Um, and I hope that you're able to eat some of this, make it in your house and eat some of it. And please let me know if you enjoyed this or um, it, you can come on over. You can either comment or go to my social media. I'm on Facebook, Jackie in the Box, and on Instagram, Jackie in the Box. Um, I think on Instagram I'm Jackie in the Box 6 and on Facebook I'm, you can find me under Jackie in the Box but like the link is Jackie in the Box 6 too. But come on over and let me know if you tried this out and have, if you enjoyed it and if you liked it. Alright, I'm going to put this in the fridge and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and want to see more meals, desserts, whatever.